I want to ask you, is this the best state of the Indian economy, banking system, corporate confidence that you have seen in the past decade and a half, Shyam? Without a question, without a doubt, this probably looks like the almost like a Cinderella <laughs> moment for banking, right? For economy and certainly for banking. So everything looks uh, in a good place. Uh, every, every now and then there are patches of uh, brilliance, but I think for a sustained period, more importantly, with, uh, with an outlook that looks quite positive in a rather uncertain external environment, it's probably the best period I've seen in a long, long while. Uh, Indian banking was a source of worry uh, 10 years ago. Uh, the great NPA bubble and reports by top brokerages used to talk about the house of debt. If you were to advise any brokerage house to write a report today on the state of Indian banking, what would be the topic that you would give them? Wow, okay. Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, the message that I've believed for quite some time is that, uh, I, I, I used it actually, it's a, it is the Cinderella moment for banking, but I think the biggest message that uh, people should take away is India is in particularly banking is in a uh, sweet spot not because of by accident it's by design and what has happened on many counts the fundamentals have dramatically changed so I think whoever is coming in looking to invest looking to participate in the India growth story uh, can't back a better horse I think it's the it's the uh, time when uh, almost everything looks set for good growth uh, typically a bank needs capital needs good credit quality and needs great governance. If you look at it, all banks without exception are well capitalized. All have, you know, an industry which had mid-teens of NPA is now like 3% as a, at an industry level. So you can't ask for a better time in terms of opportunity to both grow and participate. And of course, technology is just fundamentally re-architecting the whole space. You mentioned the word design and therefore I have to ask you, who are the designers of the great Indian banking turnaround? You're putting me in a spot now. Uh, no, let me let me let me say. See, these things uh, again don't happen by accident, right? I mean, if you say the design, uh, if you take any slice of time, and since we're talking about the last decade, uh, certainly the uh, many initiatives by regulators uh, have been quite exceptional uh, in terms of started with the cleanup of credit started with the level of external environment that has come in in terms of the uh, payment architecture in India is just uh, is just mind-blowing, right? Today, sitting here, you and I can be talking, but within a couple of clicks, the money can move. I don't believe any, in any country anywhere in the world has anything like that. So one is the architecture of how money moves. Second is the portfolios having, having been cleaned up. Third, uh, an economy that seems to be sort of navigating all all cross currents, uh, any external shocks quite well. So the uh, ingredients are in place and I would believe a public sector bank, certainly the government has had a very rich role in uh, capitalizing them, absorbing a lot of bad credit, uh, bad credit related uh, costs. So capitalized by public sector banks, cleaned up banks because of all the regulatory changes, a superb infrastructure and payments and a generally buoyant economy all sort of helps, helps the process.